Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratna. The news in detail. While talking to media on Friday, Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kulai, General Secretary of BJP, said that all over the state, BJP will burn electricity bills if the MV government in Maharashtra does not waive off the electricity bill for the period January to May. Bhavan Kulai stated that the MV government had declared in the election agenda before coming to power that they will give free electricity bill up to 100 units free, just like Delhi. The users in this category are economically backward or poor daily wage earners. But while sending electricity bill for the same period, the department has made mockery. Despite the fact that shops establishment were closed during the lockdown period, the inflated bills literally gave electricity shock to the consumers. Though the government had promised that they will send average bills, Bhavan Kule added. Ravindra Thakre, district collector on Friday, briefed media persons about the preparation undertaking and a view of the upcoming Nako Divisional's graduate constituency elections and related events. He informed that Nako Division has a total of 2,6,000 registered graduate voters for the graduate constituency election, out of which 1,2,000 were in Nako district and 70,000 voters in Nagpur city itself. The city will have 124 polling out of the 162 polling booths in the division. All the centers will have 15 assured minimum facility like ramp, drinking water, etc. Thakra said. He also requested voters that while coming to cast their votes, the voters should not bring their mobile phones and pen. Pen will be provided at the polling center and vote of the person using his or her phone pen will be considered by authorities as invalid. Thakra warned. Transfer and on money. Is government indulging in corruption and is only showing false dreams to the people? During the promotion of BJP candidate Sandeep Joshi in the upcoming Nagpur Division graduate constituency polls in the city, former chief minister and opposition leader David Fernavis said that the state's energy minister had turned back on the announcement of giving 100 units free among the MVA coalition constituency. The Shiv Sena too had announced a reduction in electricity bills by an extent of 30%, but on the contrary, bills were five times the normal amount was sent to the people. The energy minister said that he would forgive bills up to Rs 2,000 crores. Now he has broken his word. They have even broken the Nagpur Pact and shifted winter session from Nagpur to Western Maharashtra. This Uddhav Rijayam is a Palcharam regime Pandavis criticized. South Nagpur Congress Committee had organized a review meeting for the victory of its candidate advocate Abhijit Govind Ravandari on recently at Mahakalka Sabagro Nagar. The meeting was chaired by Vikas Thakre, MLA and City Congress President. Prominently present were Babadrao Thaiwade, National President of OBC, Mukti Morcha, Girish Pando, MPCC Secretary, Advocate Abhijit Banjari, Sanjay Mahakalkar, Corporator, Annaji Rao, Former Deputy Mayor, Prashant Dawar, Advocate Ashok Yaole, Yashwantra Kumbalkar, Vasudeva Toke, all former corporators, Praveen Agre, City Congress Sevadal President and Block President and Office Bearers, Emily Thakre urged party workers to take personal responsibility for the victory of advocate Abhijit Banjari and start connecting with the graduates. The party will take serious note of the efforts taken by each office bearers. Even by connecting with people, you will get benefit for the coming NMC elections next year, Thakre said. Lockdown caused by coronavirus pandemic caused great distress to many. The source of income of many persons is gone. The distress of not being able to afford even two square meals a day is being faced by many poor and downtrodden people. During this crisis, many service-minded people and organizations came forward from all over the country. A similar picture was witnessed in Nagpur. Government institutions were not far behind as far as rendering support to the needy was concerned. The UAZ Parishad played an important role during this testing period. UAZ Parishad played a major role in this food donation service. Under the leadership of Nagpur Mayor Sandeep Joshi, President of UAZ Prasidhisthan, arrangements were made by members of Pratishthan to deliver food to every needy person during the pandemic, which was indeed human service to humanity. Before we and let us take a look at a corona update today. 
Today, 344 positive patients are found in Nagpur city, while 20 persons succumbed to death due to corona pandemic. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.